Hey there, so I want to quickly show you via video how to do this. So I'm inside of Autotask right now, and the two things we need to change again are the resource information and the notification template. So for the resource, we're just going to go here. And uh, typically, you would just uh, jump to all of your human resources, not your API resources. And you need to make sure that you have the first name, last name, and the title is correct. Um, once you've done this, what you need to do next is go to your notification templates. So we're going to go to admin and then notification templates. This can be done for all of your modules, but let's stay focused on your help desk. So we're going to go to service desk, which is where your ticket notifications live. Notice you have multiple notification templates and some sites get very complicated. Whereas some sites just use the default. We're just going to assume you use the default. If you don't, you'll quickly see how to scale this to as many as you need. So take it, um, create it, or edit it. That wouldn't make sense because that's typically automated. And so this is generally when a tech is going to enter a time entry with their note. And this is just a simple note. So these are most likely the two most relevant to us. So let's click edit. Now, the mistake that most people make is when they enter their data here, they put the wrong resource and they don't catch it until they notice um, that the resource information is incorrect. So if I go to show resource variables, this is not correct. This is not the data you want because this is actually the primary resource and there's no guarantee that only the primary resource will ever send an email. For example, you may have a dispatcher, or a service manager, somebody else sending an email out of that ticket. So instead what we want to do is go to miscellaneous variables from there, we choose the initiating resource, whoever is creating or triggering the notification. And then we can keep things simple if we just do name, title. And notice we have the company name. This refers to your account zero or your company zero in the CRM, that company name. And then a good message, call us for, for support. Now notice I'm using the default here. Autotest has some prettier um, templates that you can use instead. Um, but also you can use this. If you prefer HTML, you can just copy it here. I just did a copy and paste job right there and then have it go out as HTML instead. That way you can do a, um, a bold. I'm gonna go ahead and save and close this. And again, you would wanna do this for every outbound notification template where a person may be initiating that change. It does not make sense to put this into all. Again, it doesn't make sense generally for create it or edit it because a lot of times people have those connected to workflow rules for when new emails come in via the portal or via an email. And so you don't want it to show information that's not relevant to the resource because there is no resource in that situation. But I hope you find that helpful.